नमस्कार सो आई होप यू आर इन बेस्ट ऑफ योर हेल्थ लेट सॉल्व वन मोर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम पी डी सो वी हैव टू सॉल्व द फॉलोइंग पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन टी इक्वल्स टू साइन ऑफ एक्स वाई सो वी ऑल नो दैट टी इज डेल टू जेड बाई डेल वाई स्क्वायर दिस इक्वल्स टू साइन ऑफ एक्स वाई now we have to integrate this twice in order to get z okay that will be the solution so let's name this equation number 1 first step is partially integrate with respect to y taking taking x as constant so if you take x as constant we have to partially integrate with respect to y so you will get del z by del y equals to integration of sin of xy with respect to y so dy now del z by del y equals to sin of xy dy now because we have taken x as constant integration of sin is minus cos so minus cos of xy and now anything any constant thing which is with y will be divided so it will be divided by x and because constant of integration will be in terms of x because x is a constant now again repeat the same step we have one more del by del y so integrate equation number 2 with respect to y taking x as constant so you will get z equals to integral of cos xy divided by x dy plus g1x is a constant so that will come out of the integration you will get integral dy and again you will get another constant in terms of x only which let's say g2x now minus and this x this will be outside integration of cos is sin only so minus 1 by x will come and in this integration also will give you one x so x square integration of cos is simply sin of xy divided by x that i already wrote in denominator here you will get y times g1x plus g2x so that's it z equals to minus 1 by x square sin of x square plus y times g1x plus g2x so i hope you learned something from it it was again a easy problem just partially integrate with respect to uh y taking x as constant in order to remove one del by del y and again do the same step you have to keep in mind that because x is treated as constant so the constant of integration will also be in terms of 
x only while integration you will treat x as a constant and integration is an easy thing to do in this type of uh, problems so that's it from my side do watch my partial differential equation playlist uh, for more such problem thanks and have a nice day